All right, here are solutions to perfect problem one for math 1 and 12. Given this huge mess and asked to simplify it without using a calculator. All right. Um, oh, give some hints. That helps. See, so the first, well, the second hint is that the answer is the number worn by 49er great Joe Montana while he played for San Francisco. Uh, he wore 16. Um, in San Francisco, anyways. I think he was 19 in Kansas City. I know he was three in college. Three? I think he was three in college at Notre Dame, but with the 49ers, he was number 16, so supposedly they should be equal to 16. Um, and to get that, we're supposed to use a bunch of log rules. So our first log rule says that if you're taking the log any base of a product, that's equal to the sum of those logs. Our next log rule says that if you are taking the log of a quotient, that's equal to the difference of those logs. And our third log rule says that if you are taking the log of an exponent, you can bring the exponent down in front and multiply that by the log of the base. Here's our three log rules. Um, and I think we'll also need to use the change of base formula. Um, and all that is, is that the log base b of x can be written as the log of x over the log of b. And these can be any logs as long as they're the same base. So this could be log base anything. Um, I'll leave it blank, make it 10 in this case, but it works for any log as long as they're the same. All right, that being said, let's try to work on this mess. Um, okay, hint one. First, use the third log rule twice. Okay, I guess I should recopy this whole thing log base 3 of the natural log of, you know, there's more parentheses than you need in this problem. I put in a couple extra to try to really make things obvious what goes where. Um, but I'll drop a couple of them now to make it easier to write. So we got log base 3 of the natural log of 2 plus the natural log of the natural log of E, plus the log base, that mess. Um, I don't want to write that mess a bunch of times. Maybe I'll just write 49, 49, whatever, good enough. A 49, 49 to the 11th power. This really should be 49, 49, 49, 49, however many I have here, but as long as they're the same, it doesn't matter. All right, anyways, use the... What did it say? Third log rule twice. Here's my third log rule. It says that if you have an exponent, you can bring it down in front. So where do I have exponents? Right here and right here. So I can rewrite this first one as 54 times the log base 3 of the natural log of 512. Nope, that's not true. Careful. Don't make the mistake I just made. Um, okay, so it's just the 512 being raised up to the 54th power. So really, it's only the thing that I'm taking the natural log of that's raised up to the 54th power. So this log rule says that you can only move the power of the thing you're taking the log of down in front of that log. So actually what I need to do is this is log base 3 of, rewrite this inside part using this rule. So it's 54 times the natural log of 512. Um, and I can leave this one alone. Log base 3 of 1 half. Leave this one alone. Log base 3 of the natural log of 2. Leave this one alone. Natural log of the natural log of E. And then this one, I am raising something to the 11th power. So I can bring that 11 down in front. And say it's 11 times log base, that big number, of that big number. All right, um, then use the first log rule. Here's my first log rule. It says that if you have the log of a product, you can break it into the sum of those two logs. Um, the only product I have is in this first term. I'm taking the log base 3 of this product. 54 is one of the things, and natural log of 512 is the other one. So I can write that as log base 3 of 54 plus log base 3 of... The other thing that was getting multiplied together in there, natural log of 512. 
And then I got log base three of one half. All this mess, which I'll recopy just so that the solutions look more complete. Although it's kind of a pain. Natural log of the natural log of E. And then 11 times the log of this big number, 49, 49, 49, 49. All right, um, so that was the first log rule. Now it says use the first log rule backwards. So that's saying look for two logs being added together that would be beneficial to have them multiplied. So let's see here. I have a lot of log base threes, but not that many would be beneficial to multiply. For example, 54 times the natural log of 512, that's not going to help at all. But 54 times 1 half, that would help. If I put these two together, maybe I need to underline these. This guy and this guy, I can say that's the log base 3 of 27, 54 times 1 half. Um, sure, let's do it all in one line. And then it says... Then the second log rule backwards. Well, the second log rule says find, you have to have the same log and you're taking the difference of them. So log something minus log of something else, I have that here. Log base three of this thing, log base three of this thing. So with this and this, I can say that I have the log base three of the quotient of those two things I'm taking the log base three of. So natural log of 512 over natural log of two. Um, and I guess I'll just copy down the rest of it. Natural log of natural log of E plus 11 times log that bad number. Something like that. All right, so that took care of first log rule backwards and the second log rule backwards. The only thing left to do is the change of base formula. Change of base formula I have down here. Um, Maybe I should say change the base formula backwards. I have the quotient of these two logs, natural log of 512 and natural log of 2. So I can rewrite that as log base 3 of. So using the change of base formula, I could say when I have the same logs, the one on top goes here and the one on the bottom becomes the base. So what I'm saying is I have log base 2 of 512 is what this is equal to. And then the rest of this mess. So I am now finally done um, simplifying using log rules. And I've gotten it into a form where all of these are things that I can just answer. These are all logs we know. Uh, let's see where to start. Log base 3 of 27. It's saying 3 to what power will be equal to 27? 3 to the third power is equal to 27. Log base 3 of this thing, log base 2 of 512. That's saying what power do you have to raise 2 to to get 512? That answer is 9. 2 to the ninth is 512. And then natural log of, let's figure out what this is equal to. Natural log of E. Natural log is log base E. So this is saying... What power do you have to raise E to to get E? Well, that's just the first power. E is already E. You don't need to raise it to a power. And then same idea here. This is saying what power do you have to raise 49, 49, 49, 49 to to get 49, 49, 49, 49? Well, just raise it to the first power. It's already that thing. Um, log base 3 of 9 is saying what power do you raise 3 to to get 9? 3 squared is 9. Natural log of 1 is saying e to what power equals 1? e to the 0 power is equal to 1. And then 11 times 1 is 11. And 3 plus 2 is 5 plus 11 is 16. It's awesome because 16 is the number that Joe Montana wore. Uh, so that's finally the end of this problem.